A Minnesota-based vehicle manufacturing company is being recognized for its efforts to build the state's first electric fire truck. Rosenbauer started its statewide tour of the vehicle today. Governor Tim Walz took some time to celebrate the accomplishment ahead of the tour. Rosenbauer, which we were just discussing, uh, one of the best kept secrets in Minnesota, I think, and an incredible company that up in Wyoming has building fire trucks in Minnesota since 1920. And what you're seeing is the future of firefighting, the future of transportation. This is a fully electric fire truck. Uh, it's running. It's ready to go. It's operational right now. You saw the ability inside with a uh, toggle switch to be able to do everything they can right now, both protection of firefighters responding. Um, just exciting times we're talking about now. These are starting to get out. They're operational out in Los Angeles. I think as Minnesota starts to move to this, this charges on a conventional charging for electric vehicles. This is where the future goes for responding. The ability to be able to um, to continue to provide that service, but also do it cheaper, do it environmentally sound, and be able to do it as efficiently and as effectively as possible. So it's pretty exciting. Minnesota is being a leader. We're moving forward in this. We've got a manufacturer right here. The idea is to try and get these vehicles out and into service in Minnesota as soon as we can. Uh, it just makes sense. Uh, it's the future of where they're going, and a great Minnesota company with our partners in Austria um, have worked, uh, again, as we said, building these things for over 100 years, and this is the next generation. This really is the future of firefighting. What stands behind me is a fully production truck, fully capable. We have one of these in operation as we speak in Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles is the second largest fire department in the United States, one of the high, highest call volumes we see all throughout the country. So what we'll be doing, this is our demonstration truck. It'll be touring all throughout the United States and Canada the next few months to really help enable cities solve for their EV goals they've set. It's really critical and some folks would say firefighting is one of the hardest challenges to solve for in the electric city fleet mandates and what you see behind me helps you do that. It does everything. This has 500 gallons of water on the truck, a uh, water uh, a fire um, pump, uh, tr a traditional hose complement, ladder complement, everything you see on this truck is NFPA approved, meets all the firefighting standards, and in some cases exceeds them. So anything and everything a city would need to do, this truck is capable of. This truck is on as we speak. This truck is fully functional, is ready to fight fire. A traditional apparatus, we couldn't be talking here. It'd be too loud with the diesel motor. And you think about the, the, the communication of the crews. This truck has a 10 inch step. The traditional, ten, the traditional fire apparatus may have upwards of a 24 inch step. And you think about it, a firefighter is going to be wearing 80 to 100 pounds of gear in and out of that truck and the wear it puts on a body. This truck is fully adjustable, able to go to a lower step in mode and save many injuries that a firefighter may incur. It costs anywhere from 1.6 to 1.8 million. And a traditional fire apparatus, depending how you configure it, an engine would be somewhere between 800,000 to a million. Probably the biggest barrier is the upfront cost versus a traditional apparatus. And what fire departments are solving for is their total cost of ownership. So they may need a little help upfront to purchase an electric apparatus, but what we've seen, for example, is this is saving thousands of dollars per month, every month, with our first truck in operation in Los Angeles. We have the full expertise and capability to build this truck here today. A little bit of infrastructure investments, uh, yet uh, that is our full goal is to bring it here and manufacture it locally. Every single year, and we're, we're short a truck in Duluth right now, their budget, I believe, was in that, they were talking 800 to the to million dollars. All across Minnesota, fire departments are replacing and purchasing trucks as they grow, they're trying to get them. Just like people are thinking about with their cars, it's going to transition from diesel to our electric. And on the front end, I think one of the things, Minnesota's a clean car state, it will remain a clean car state as we move aggressively towards expanding our charging infrastructure. You saw with the local uh, Inflation Reduction Act, there are incentives for the purchase of electric vehicles. What we're trying to do is that we will be funding cities, and as you heard Mark talk about it is, the upfront costs are one thing, the long time savings, the lifetime cost to a community will be less with electric vehicles. And we're just at that front end. So I think the things we can do is making sure we have robust local government aid, making sure that public safety budget that we propose is go through, because I want to be very clear about that, that's massive flexibility for these communities. So now all of a sudden Duluth has the opportunity 
to have a little bit more. Instead of spending a million, they spend a little bit more on this and in the long run save money. And I want to just be very clear, um, we get the incredible benefit of reducing diesel pollution, yes. reducing what uh, we know we need to move to. So it's a win-win-win.